what's happening y'all y'all can hear me before we get things going y'all can y'all can hear me i'm seeing i'm seeing some familiar faces and stuff y'all can hear me up in there what's going on how y'all doing on today how y'all doing on this fine 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 evening i need some thumbs up or something y'all can hear me yes i know yes i know yes i know yes i know amba she probably on the phone can y'all hear me well, I'm just going to assume y'all can hear me until then, because this little sound system is, is acting weird right now. But well, welcome back to another episode of Live with Brian, y'all. I got the new setup. Well, semi-new setup, I guess you can kind of say. I just wanted to try some stuff out and see what's what. And on today's episode, uh, I don't know what we're about to talk about, because I saw a lot of stuff today that kind of threw me off. Like, I saw a whole bunch of stuff with the monkeypox, and then I saw... Like, they talking about doing these little mandates for the, the jabs and stuff to come out and all of that. So, I was like, should I talk about that today? Or should I continue what we talked about yesterday? You know, but it's, it's y'all, we in, some, we in some crazy times right now. We in some real crazy times right now. And I'm, I don't know. I'm just grateful to be where I'm at right now in life and have the education on holistic health that I do to where I can at least come sit down and talk to y'all and spread some of this to y'all. Because it's, I don't know, y'all, it's, it's something else. It's, it's really something else at this point. But I will, I will say, I guess we could kick things off. Let me start with like a few little icebreakers. Well, not icebreakers, rules, because you got to just moderate these days. But um, I only have, I only have a few rules. Y'all have like if one or two rules. One, don't come up in here being all crazy. You know, we can always, we can disagree. You know, it's okay to disagree. It's okay to have a little heated discussion, stuff like that. But we're not about to be up in here like discrediting each other and like being bigots and going crazy on each other. We're not going, we're not going to do that. But at the same time, you know, it's like if you need to be removed and you need to be blocked and stuff like that because you can't follow rule number one, I have no problem doing that. I will get up from this bench and go over there and really just deal with you if need, if need be. Rule number two, I ain't really a rule, but the only thing I ask is like the, the one job that I, I give y'all is that there's a little meter right here. should be like right there. Click the screen until that thing get full. And once it get full and you get the little confetti thing come out, that's it. It throws me in the algorithm. It pushes me forward, and it helps me to, um, I guess, be more heard, seen, and stuff like that. And y'all already doing it. Thank you so much. I'm seeing all the likes coming through. Um, y'all give me y'all liking the so Give me a thumbs up. I really can't tell if y'all can hear me or not. As y'all can tell, I don't have my um, like I can hear it through here. I know that the volume is coming through here, but I don't know if it's actually going through the new mic setup that I have. Thank you for the roses, my love. I don't know if it's coming from the mic setup that I have in um, on the iRig over there for the live broadcast. So y'all please give me a thumbs up or something so I can know what's going on. But yeah, let's 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 get it. Let's get into it. Let's really get into it. So for one, I hope y'all okay, think a thumbs up. Finally somebody gave me a thumbs up. I've been waiting this whole time. I was like, can they hear me? And let me know if I'm too loud too, buddy. What's going on, Amanda? And if y'all see me looking this way, I have my screen reflected over there because I need us to see what y'all saying. I'm not gonna be able to scroll through like I normally do. I'm just keep tabs of the comments. But um I like I really like this setup. Like I really it, it's like not even the sixteenth of my studio. But, like, it's something about this little corner. I like my little trees and stuff like that. Got my books. Got my katana, my little light. I should, let me see. Let me see if I cut that thing. Yeah, that's that's cool. Got my little katana and my little light. That's nice. But, um, I was about, oh, it's just a lag. Okay, I see all the thumbs up coming in now. It's just a lag. My name is not Amanda. I'm on my mom's phone. I am Isaiah. Oh, well, what's up, Isaiah? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening? But um yeah, let's get this thing cracking, y'all. It's a, I know it's a new setup comp uh, compared to what we used to normally do, but it is what it is. But yeah, so the first, the first she fussing at them dogs. The first thing that I uh that I like to lead off with, especially like with the big rise and um monkeypox and stuff like that, I just don't want people to fall because it, it is. I will say it is something scary, you know. Like if y'all was around, well around my time, I'm saying my time, like I'm old. I'm 27, but like when I was a kid. Like, chicken pox was, like, the monkey pox. So, like, nobody was really, it was keeping people from school and stuff like that. Oh, don't touch my child. And this, then the third, it was spreading crazy. And then, but, like, chicken pox would get bad, but it became, like, a normal thing. It was like, okay, well, you know, get your uh, shot or whatever. You'll be good, blah, 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 all that type of stuff. But we experiencing something that's different. You know, it's, like, it's huge. Like, the little nodules and stuff that I'll be seeing people get. And I'm going to do a little bit more research on it. This particular virus is, like, it's really aggressive. So if you're somebody who is already doing your part as far as like eating right, doing right by yourself and quarantining if need be and things of that nature, keep doing that. But I would advise you to get like some garlic and some honey and it may not it may not taste the best, but get you some some chopped garlic or some minced garlic. Well, mince it yourself, honestly, put some honey in it, 
take your little teaspoon or like drink your celery juice in the morning. Y'all need to start uh, piling up on elderberry syrup. You can put that in your water. You can put that in your drinks, whatever. A lot of fruit, a cold pressed fruit juices, a lot of, man, look, do what y'all got to do to stay prepared and to be good from all of this stuff. Because if not, you're going to be, it's just, it's not going to be good if you actually get it. Like some people, it's, they say it's livable. Some people say it's not. But, you know, at the end of the day, you wouldn't really know until you got it, you know, yourself. Or until you got to go through it. So, just make sure that y'all doing it like that. Elderberry pollen and honey. Yeah, if you're talking about uh, pine pollen, if you're talking about elderberry pine pollen and honey, yeah, that's another good concoction y'all can use. Or, uh, or bee pollen. But it just it just depends. I'd rather um, pine pollen because it's better for testosterone, of course. Hormonal balance and it's good for the lymphatic system. Bee pollen, I haven't really messed with it like that. And bees already got enough going on. So, it's like, I don't feel like... If I'm a buy, if I'm a get it, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, am I, I don't, granted, I don't know the full research. I don't know if I actually get it, if it's going to be like a part of forest degenerate, uh, degeneration and stuff like that, but I'm just not going to play with that. I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with pine pollen, but I agree. But, um, yeah, that was, that was all the icebreaker, you know, all the icebreaker for the beginning, but for all the super beats, uh, if you're talking about the brand, I think I know what you're talking about. I would just say get organic beats yourself, uh, unless you can get it. Like if super, now if you're talking about the super beats brand, and I think you're talking about, um, get the USDA organic uh, kind, non-pasteurized. And if it's the powder that I think you're talking about, all the capsule farm, you can consume it uh, regularly, but make sure like, I would say do it first thing in the, uh, in the morning. That should be the first thing. Are you a root worker? No, I am not. My name is, oh yeah, for all the new, oh, my bad, my bad. I forgot to do my introduction. For all the new people up in here, my name is Coach Brian. I'm a holistic coach and holistic trainer. You know, I've been doing this since 2013. And uh, I essentially just been growing my education. I've studied underneath blah, blah, blah. I've, I've been doing the work for a long time. Uh, and my work speaks for itself, but no, I'm not a, I'm not a root, like I'm not a root worker, but I do, um, specialize in like herbs and things of that nature, curing things and giving remedies in a holistic manner rather than going to medicine. I'm not, and let me say this a disclaimer. I'm not one of those people that's against doctors and stuff like that, because I have family members that go to doctors who believe in a more holistic and natural way of curing things, but they still going to stick to what they know in their practice, what they got their license in. But, you know, I do feel as though there's one in agenda and two things aren't really like, how can I put it? They aren't really, um, it isn't really designed to be as holistic and organic as possible. I guess, I guess you can say that for lack of better terms, but I don't know. It just, I just really take my time and do things the plant way, you know, as natural as possible, because as you can see with all these trees and stuff up in here, but it's just, I don't know. I, I just don't like playing with medicine. I had a very bad experience and then I healed myself from a lot of things with, out taking medicine actually doing herbs and eating better and then i just started i've been a science head since i was a kid so i love anatomy you know if y'all was on the episode the other day um we talked about anatomy we talked about biology we talked about chemistry we talked about the uh the basic principles of holistic properties and things of that nature so if you're somebody that's new here um if you want to find like books and stuff like that for when i have my own book you can go to the uh link in my bio or the top of my page because you know they're censoring that stuff out now these days or you could go to coachbrian.com and then you'll see my book and I, I break it down as far as my ideologies of like what these chronic illnesses may be and the herbs that are definitely help you out the best for it. And then, you know, just basically breaking it down in a way that you can understand it. Because whenever oftentimes I find myself and not even just with clients, just with people in general, they'll ask me about how do I feel about just any type of illness in general. Like or they'll say one thing in particular and then I try to break it down as holistically as possible. And they're with me, but they're not with me because the moment you start talking outside of radiation and outside of uh, chemicals and outside is that in the third day, don't really like you talking about what a plant do this, a fruit do this, a vegetable do this, do this. I don't believe it. You know, and it's it just it's bad, bro. What sickness did you have? I had IBS. I had IBS really, really bad to the point to where like I would be. I would be in my bed like I could I couldn't move you know and I, and I I was a very well, I've always been an active person like I've always did track I've always did cross country soccer basketball you name it I was always moving when I got to college I did band you know I was out there marching twenty four seven but my eating habits were not the best honestly and then I grew I'm I'm from Southern Louisiana so it's like I didn't have the best diet growing up and granted my youth you know and my and how my body was as I was developing. You know, it tolerated it. It got me through it and stuff like that. I would have little problems here and there, but it wasn't nothing major. But when I got to college and then my diet really turned to crap because I could eat what I wanted to eat. And, excuse me, it wasn't really the best things to eat that I was putting inside of myself. And it just, it, it was a bad show. <laughs> it was a really bad show. But, you know, I've been 
going on, I want to say next year makes 10 years in August. I want to say I've been on this journey. And my biggest thing, like I said before, I want to educate. Like I have, I say this every podcast, if y'all was to see the my book collection, if y'all was to see my external hard drive, my four terabyte external hard drive with all the books that I have on there, my book racks that's down here, my book rack up here, over there, in my bedroom, in the living room, like all I do is read. I love reading and then I love going looking at trials and stuff like that so I can go and actually see, okay, what case studies did what? How did they do this? You know, and then I have clients that I deal with, consultations, and then I help them get through their sicknesses and I compare my notes and how I did it and what happened with them to the signs that I know and to other practices that I've studied. You know, so I like to be as well-rounded as possible. I often tell people that I don't like picking sides. You know, there's a plant-based versus animal-based war going on right now and and the communities are just at each other's necks and i don't i just don't i just don't believe in that it's like i'm not because i used to be that extremist like if y'all go to all my all my other youtube videos like when i first started i was that extremist person i was you gotta be all fruits and blah 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 preparing myself for fruitarianism all that type of stuff but now i'm at a place to where it's like I've healed people on this type of diet, that type of diet. I've seen other people, heal. you know, like I've done the work, done the studies. And it's like, and I'm being realistic. Y'all, y'all see me saying this a lot. It's like people be eating a certain type of way for 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years. I'm not about to sit here and be like, well, you can't heal because you eat this type of diet and blah, 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 blah. Now, granted, I'm going to omit. Look, I'm not going to pick a side, but I'm going to tell you what you need to omit. I'm going to tell you what's probably causing the problems for you. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to pick a side. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to how to track, how to log. I'm going to show you the herbs that help. I'm going to show you the remedies that help. We're going to dive into that and we're going to go based off of what you're putting in and what happens or what comes out. And once we do it like that, boom, you know, it's, but that's a that's a whole nother journey. That's a way more in-depth journey. Um, somebody put, I'm glad you found herbalism. Me too. Cause look, I, I have a, I got a stomach just like my mama, like my, see I'm AB positive and my hydrochloric uh, acid levels in my stomach. I'm not going to say they're low, but they're not normal. It's like they, it's certain foods just tear me up and especially medicine. Like when medicine go into my system, like it affects me immediately. It does not take long for medicine to tear me up. So like when I started getting into herbalism and then I started doing like my different type of herbs for all my stomach or even like just little remedies and stuff like that, I wouldn't be all groggy. I wouldn't pass out randomly. I wouldn't be fatigued all day. I wouldn't be constipated. Like y'all have no idea when you got stomach problems, bro. Like I'm not saying, I'm not saying other, other illnesses don't matter or they aren't intense and stuff like that. I'm not saying that, but bro, look, having a bad stomach or like having a, a stomach that's hard to deal with is not the easiest thing to do, bro. It's, it's annoying. Because you can't, and I'm an active person. I like to have fun. Like I do outside of this, you know, y'all, I mean, y'all see my studio. Once I be posting stuff, y'all see the instruments and all type of stuff. I like to perform. I like the shows. I love all that type of stuff. But Jesus, it is, it's just, it's, it's hell and high water dealing with a crappy stomach. And that's just the you know, stuff I was born with. You know, I'd have to make the best of it. Do you make tinctures? tinctures? Uh, I'm, I am now, but like, I'm trying to learn how to do it the alcohol free way, which takes 10 times as long as the other way. Cause it doesn't pull out the properties as much but and i'm not the best at it reasons why i got my wholesale account with um star west botanicals and a lot of my products are about to be coming through there until i mastered it but it's like and that's what i'm gonna be practicing with but like nah, i just typically get the tinctures alcohol free already made and i'm trying to figure out i make more like salves and like powders and uh in proprietary blends than tinctures it's just that's just a different type of beast for me honestly uh i'm so glad i'm not lactose intolerant but you know it's crazy everybody is to a certain extent it, you may not be you may not have the effects of somebody like me who if i eat cheese it's a wrap <laughs> bro it's a wrap you might as well just cancel tomorrow cancel tonight like i'm gonna be on that toilet but like you know we're actually after i forgot what age it was but like we stopped becoming tolerant to anything dairy milk or however you want to think about it because like we know we no longer require the the process of getting sustenance from our mother's milk you know so once that cuts off and you age out of that boom you technically shouldn't be eating or drinking anything that has to do with dairy but you know people the the, the standard american diet has like i think the last time i checked was like 45 to 60 is in between 40 the average consumer is like 45 to 60 percent primarily a dairy-based diet it's, it's crazy bro how are you eating how are your eating habits do you get hungry a lot i don't it's like I satiate myself a lot on on juices. I love, I could drink juice all day, but like and, and also like so y'all see me at a lot at a, a smaller size. I used to be like one, I was like one eighty. I think I was like one seventy nine, one eighty, somewhere around there. And I was way bigger than this. You know, y'all looking at like one sixty, one sixty five right now. I think I'm at, I might be at one sixty eight. I haven't weighed myself in a few weeks, and I'm um I'm on the road to getting back to one eighty. But I didn't like 
how I bulked up because, you know, I'd be in the gym and doing stuff like that. I'm not no bodybuilder, but my friends are, you know, so it's like I I don't aspire to do that because I know I don't have the time and I don't have like the actual like I, I, I can't. Well, the way my career, my life is set up is like I can do it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not making excuses. I'm going to get to where I need to be in the, the physique that I want. But like I can't put as much time into it as I really want to because I know what else. Like I know how I am. I want to once I get that motor reading and studying, I'm not going to get out. And I'm not going to the gym at 12 o'clock at night. I'm not going to the gym at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm in the bed. I wake up at like well, I'm starting to wake up at like 530 in the morning. So I'm not in, in potentially 4 o'clock. I'm not doing that. But um, yeah, y'all see me at, a, at a, a lot smaller size than what I used to be. And um. Yeah, I, I, I can eat. Don't get me wrong, I can eat. But, like, once I, like, we just finished eating before I got on here. And I'm, I can eat again. But, like, I don't really, I got past that gluttonous type of behavior. Because, like, I used to binge eat in college, like a mug. I used to eat, 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 eat. And I'm not, I'm not short, but I'm not too tall either. I'm, like, right at six even. So, like, 160 looks different on me. Like, one, like when I'm going to put them 20 pounds back on, I'm going to look big. Like I was the last time, you know, so I just try to keep my my natural weight where it fluctuates at because I was stuck at 145 for the longest. But then once I started getting back in the gym and eating right, I, my weight just puffed right back up as it should. It had a metabolic, a good muscular metabolic response to it. But that's yeah, that's that. I don't get too hungry a lot. Um, when you learn herbalism, mixology comes next for show. Sure. Yeah, essentially it's like. So for me my i he was here's my elevation to it so i didn't just jump right into herbs i knew of herbs and i knew of the study of herbs but i was a big like anatomy physiology person who dove into biology who dove into chemistry and now i'm at a point to where it makes that's why i tell people you can study holistic medicine you can dive into that but you have to understand basic science or like at least the the human anatomy so it can process better because it makes a I remember whenever I had read I had brushed up on some more anatomy and I had brushed up on some more of my basic science and went back and read reread my uh my holistic books and stuff like that and it just made ten times more sense. It's like when you start thinking about how, you know, excuse me, acidosis attacks the liver and stuff like that, you start thinking about how the liver works and its conjunction to the transverse colon and then how the ACE like you start thinking about cystic fibroids and stuff like that, and you know what the arc where the organs are, how they work and things of that nature, you're like, Oh, Okay, yeah, but if you don't really understand it, if somebody is telling you that, oh, well, you have transverse colon cysts or polyps because your liver is jammed up, it's not going to make all, it's like it's going to make sense, but like you're not going to conceptualize it how it should be conceptualized. But once you start doing that, it's, it's a wrap. It's really a wrap at that point. What herbs can I use to help lower my blood sugar? Um, I would say for one, start eating foods that's on the, cause it's really about what you're eating. Start eating in the insulin response and the glycemic effect that's taking a uh, place, but it's really more say about, um, and I'm gonna get back to you. I see you, you think about, cause I don't have much cravings, but I crave water 23 hours a day. I'm gonna get to that. I'm gonna explain oh, the difference between H2O and H3O2, but, um, the herbs that you can use for your blood sugar, start by eating fruits that's on the low glycemic uh, index scale. Start by eating those. Definitely pull out all of the red and harsh meats if you're a meat eater. Um, and even fish right now, too, because the mercury and, like, the way the water is is horrible right now. Um, sarsaparilla is a good herb. Um, bilberry is a good herb. Dandelion root, milk thistle. Um, I would say start off with those four. Sarsaparilla, milk thistle, dandelion root, and bilberry. Those four alone is going to not only purify your blood and help with your iron levels, and it's going to help with your pancreas and your insulin response and your gallbladder and your liver. Because all diabetes is is acidosis, if not the attack on the uh, the it's called the melanin clusters of the pancreas so you just gotta make sure you target that but going back to somebody i said because i don't have much cravings but i crave water 23 hours of the day that's a sign of molecular dehydration so what you need to do is satiate yourself or at least try to consume consume 32 to 64 ounces of cold pressed juice a day because when water's not doing it cold presses cold pressed juices fruit juice is going to do it because essentially your body is saying okay you're sending water in me to purify and pull certain minerals out and hydrate me but if you put the actual fruit juices in the H3O2 inside of me, then guess what? I get to I get to get the nutrients that I need. Cause like thirst isn't necessarily we associate with it with water. And don't get me wrong, it it is it is like a, oh I need water, I'm dehydrated. It does mean that. But dehydration goes a lot deeper than just I don't have enough water in my system. It means that my like your kidneys are having a hard time filtrating. Your adrenal glands are overworking. Your liver and your blood is thick. The, 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 the secretions are really thick right now. So we need something to clean it out and get it to where it needs to be. So how about you give me cold fruit, like especially like watermelons, really good in nitric oxide. It's really good in arginine. It's really, uh, I, I believe it has a little bit of glutamine in it. I, don't, I can't remember off the back of my head right now. I don't have my chart up, but I feel like glutamine is inside of it. 
um you can do cucumbers and apples that's a good combination orange juice for sure um what's another one you can do i hate celery juice but it's so good for you you can do celery juice too and all of those those things are going to redo or enrich the minerals and the nutrients inside of your body re-electrify your neurological system and everything starts firing you know it's like people oftentimes look at prime example people start oftentimes start looking at um start looking at like their their blood pressure numbers and if you really look at it for what it is it's actually your kidney function and it's your dehydration levels and your urinary tract like it's signals you know so if your blood is bad that means that your, your detoxification process or the amount of lymphatic fluid that you need to build to push things out is low or bad you know we got to start thinking about the body as a lubricative system rather than like oh this one thing is this one problem that we got, got we got to get rid of like no thank you for the rose my love i just saw it if y'all see me looking this way i'm just looking at the thing because my phone's way over there but i need to see what y'all saying um but yeah you just need to think about the body as like more so is like a, a one big system than oh this one part didn't broke down like nah this one thing affects everything else um i missed that what it says something too again are these herbs good as tea? Uh, send that, send that one more time. Send that that comment one more time. You said something about dandelion root and all of that. Send that one more time. I drink orange juice. I drink orange juice by the gallon. It helps with anemia and diabetes. Too. Exactly. As long as it's cold pressed, yes, it does. Like I said before, the H three O two and it goes back inside and remineralizes, and it, it also helps with nourishment. Exactly. Exactly. Straight to the pancreas. Straight to the liver. Exactly. All uh, right, it's all connected for sure. All right, Black Faye. Black Faye in the building. That's what I'm talking about. And to the lady uh, or the person, I don't know what you identify as, but to the person that uh, that um, that was talking about the herbs, you can send that comment again. I saw it, but I saw like the second half of it. And I'm like I said, my phone's way over there and I'm trying to look at it all over again to make sure I can answer all of y'all questions. That's the only difference about this setup is like y'all way over there. And I don't have like, see, that's why I need to get an iPad. But I'm frugal, y'all. I don't like spending money like that. But I need to give me an iPad to where I can like be right here and look at it and scroll and do that type of stuff or just give me like, you know what? I need to give me a phone. I need to give me another phone that's like just Wi-Fi only because I, no, I ain't paying no bill. But like, you know, Wi-Fi only, blah, blah, blah. But um, yo, for one, y'all got some good questions. Shout out to y'all, everybody that's up here that's asking all these doggone questions. But another thing too, a side, little side note, for all y'all that's been missing or that's new to here and y'all like, well, what can I find the other episodes and the deep dives and stuff? Like, oh, here come your question. Hold up, let me pause. Milk thistle, dandelion roots, and she put a flower. What are the other two herbs again? Are they good as teas? So it's milk thistle, dandelion root, sarsaparilla, and uh bilberry. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. That bilberry is not. <laughs> I wouldn't put that in the tea. So I would say you can do. Um, there's a milk thistle and dandelion root infusion that I had. Now those two, as, as a tea, would be dope. But I also have the capsules in my um. They're infused. They're in my uh. The link in my bio. Go to my Amazon storefront on my Amazon favorites. I have that in capsule form already. Um. Sarsaparilla, I don't know if it's still on there. I believe I might have some on there. You can double check. But sarsaparilla is um is that other herb you can go get in bilberry. Now I don't know how those two are gonna mix with the other two in, in teas. I wouldn't do that. It is doesn't the makeup of it and how it works, I wouldn't do that if I was you. But um or even if you want to get like a tincture, honestly, like if you wanna get um and I granted them tinctures they they be tasting strong. Like I don't know if you could handle bitters like that. But like if you wanna get like cat's claw um milk thistle dandelion root stuff like that you can try that but for your teas stick to milk thistle dandelion root and if you want to sweeten it use like some agave nectar or something like that and um sarsaparilla and bilberry is the other herb. but like i was saying before all the people that's um that's missing are you want to see the other episodes that we do or that i do you can go on my youtube you can type in coach brian get your find or just coach brian nobody spells my their name like that on social media but me i caught that at the perfect time and you can and I have everything even from like years ago of like when I wasn't even thinking like this. So if y'all want to see like, cause I believe I'm I'm real big in transparency and growth. You're welcome. I see your other thing. You're welcome. Um, oh wait, pause. What are the tea doses? Any negative reactions to mixing any herbs? It depends. It depends on what you're trying to mix. But I would say this: every every piece of um every piece of herb that you get, depending on where you get it from, they should have a suggested dosage dosage for it. But for me, I typically do like a one to two teaspoons per herb. I try to keep them all equal parts to where everything hitting on all cylinders, unless it's like, it's a really, really, really strong tonic that I'm making. And that's, that's different. But, um, and the negative side effects for these, especially with diabetes, the only thing I would say is this, I would say you can do like a week on a week off or a day on or two days on one day off to give your body like a rest. But I often tell people if you're going to be consuming herbs on the daily or by daily uh, or every other day, I'm saying by daily, every other day, just make sure you're coupling that with fruit juice and a lot of fruits because 
you need to herbs electrify the body right and they go in and they pull whatever needs to be pulled or they enhance you need something to back that up with nourishment with minerals you need something that's going to rehydrate the lymphatic system our lymphatic system starts at the top of our head well, i'm saying starts but you can you can track it from the top of your head to the soles of your feet you know so it's like if you have that much like passageway going through your body cardiovascular system all in the veins tied up into that you got your neurological system your digestion you know what i'm saying like you got to really get all of that stuff satiated and hydrated so make sure that if you're going to be on herbal blends like this you have to double back and make sure that you're consuming the thing that's going to rehydrate yourself um somebody said oh no man that's what somebody she tagged somebody else then line routine is good it, it is really good it, it's really i like i had did i have it on my uh on my tiktok i had did burdock i did burdock root it's for it's for stomach alleviation burdock root dandelion root milk thistle and i forgot what the other one is was it did i put peppermint i don't think i put peppermint in there but like i want to say that's for sure the, the three herbs that i had put in there and my god like it granted it does send you to the bathroom but the energy boost you get from it and the cleanse like you feel light you feel really really good you don't feel groggy and then like your stomach gets to you know it gets to have a chance to alleviate itself but but if you're somebody like me that used to have stomach problems or you have a sensitive stomach um, you don't have to always do the, um, you don't always have to do the herbs or you don't have to do the herbs that much. Get some aloe vera. So like a raw aloe vera stalk, cut it, cut at least two inches out and then eat the gel. And if you don't want to eat it cause you don't like the consistency cause it really don't have a taste to me, but you can blend it up in a, in a, in some water, you know, and chug it down real quick. Like it's really amazing for satiating the stomach. Um, I did the aloe vera juice. I forgot what brand it was. I got some aloe vera, some organic aloe vera juice, but it is I didn't it's like it worked but it didn't it was not the same as getting it from the source you feel me so it's like it worked don't get me wrong it worked but like i just felt like it made me use the bathroom more than anything rather than like coat my stomach and make it chill out so that but that's just that's just me it might hit different from y'all burdock is good for getting your hair back too yes indeed burdock and sauce saparilla you mix those two together you'll be in good hands and horsetail horsetail is another good one too i do enjoy dandelion routine i just haven't been consistent with drinking it that's fine nobody's perfect Nobody's perfect, but if you know that you have a routine and you got to get back on it to see the real benefits, then then do that. You know, like we got to discipline ourselves and make sure we're on top of it. I mean, I'm guilty of it too. I've been doing this for a while, but there's some days to where I just don't do it. Now, granted, you get to a certain level of eating to where it's like, or you'll get on a certain routine of like a filtration that your body ain't got used to some certain type of thing. So whenever you do skip a day or two, you actually feel off because it's like, okay, it's, you know, it's like I don't have my normal fixings. I don't have my normal, like, my, my intake that I normally do. So I would say for the days that you're off, compensate by what you're putting food-wise and drinking-wise inside of your body. I mean, I got some dope questions and some dope statements. But also for the new people, I'm seeing some new people fly up in here. The one thing I ask y'all to do, because y'all can, can ask me anything. We talking about holistic stuff, but y'all we can talk about anything. Um, tap the screen. There's going to be a meter way right here. It should fill up. Tap it all the way until it's fill up, and then you could stop tapping. I think the confetti going to be like, Wah! it's going to come out. But it's gonna throw me into the algorithm, and what happens is it like it pushes me a lot further. Let me let me just explain to y'all. I'm gonna get to this. Let me get to the question. I'm gonna get to what I'm about to say. Also, how do you feel about uh, oregano oil for daily use? I wouldn't say daily use. I would not because it's a it's a it's a really hot. Even though it's an oil, it's a really hot. Thank y'all for. I see the hearts coming through. Thank y'all. Um, it's a really hot herb. I, well, I I call them hot herbs. It's strong. So I don't know about daily. Like you can do every other day, every two three days, but I would do daily. That's it's a lot. It's it's a lot. But um, let me tell you about this, this TikTok update. So, like, when it comes down to, like, being pushed to algorithm and content and blah, 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 it is, uh, um, let me tell y'all something, it's annoying. Because, especially for somebody like me, like, it took me a while. Any suggestions for clear skin, coach? I'm going to get to that. Give me a second. Um, It took me a while to get to where I'm at right now. I think we had, like, almost 170,000 followers, I want to say. I did that from December to now. And, like, same format, same thing I've been doing, you know, like, I was getting tens of thousands of views, if not millions of, millions of views, you know, I was, my videos were doing hot. And then they changed it to the, oh, the advertising system came and the subscription system came. When I tell y'all, i I just rather come on live at this point, and that's all I've been doing. I come on live, I talk to my people, the people that's actually going to follow me and talk to me and engage with me, I talk to them, and then we move, we move accordingly. Because, my God, it is a headache. It's like just trying to get views and stuff up now is just a headache. That's what we got to do. Um, she said, any suggestions for a clear skin coach? That all starts with the liver. It all starts with the livers and kidneys and what you're eating. But I will say, um, get you a, um, see, I would, I'll have to flip the camera. I have like a little portable sauna box in there. Or just even going outside in a sweatsuit. Like you got to sweat. 
you gotta you gotta really really sweat and you gotta start drinking a bunch of fruit juice and cut down like a lot of celery juice for sure it's gonna taste horrible but 16 to 32 ounces a day i'm telling like i hate unless you're just that person that love it i hate celery juice um drink that every single day couple that with um or throughout the day maybe do like 16 or 32 ounces of another cold pressed fruit juice um eat a lot of leafy greens and cut down on your meats and you'll see your bowel movements change you'll see your skin start changing your hydration gonna change and you're gonna be on a whole nother level and also um body butters and stuff like that too when i get out the shower it's like everybody asks me for like my skin routine and stuff like that like i got the best skin but um i'll tell you since i said welcome and i'm gonna get to the other question uh life of leash she said i think it's so hard to figure out the doses and counter interactions and timings of the herbs i'm gonna I'm explain that in a second um but when it comes to everybody yeah everybody be asking me for like a routine and i don't really have a routine because i don't feel like my skin is all that is all that you know i don't have blemishes and stuff like that but i don't feel like my skin is a one but my routine is i get out the shower i have like this um this oil blend i got from like a little a beauty supply store they got like not so far from my house and i looked at it, it's all natural i forgot exactly what herbs in it but it smells so sweet it's so good and i put it in my beard and then uh you know i comb and brush all this type of stuff excuse my face today i ain't i ain't got no haircut no nothing like that's why i've been wearing these hats <laughs> um so yeah i do that and then like i follow that up when i don't really and when i got the shower too i don't like i don't like dry my face i dampen it because you need that you need to, the oil seals in moisture so it's like i oil it because my beard's already wet and then i comb it through brush it, all that type of stuff but then i follow up with some shea butter and that's it that's all i do if that you know like i, I don't do too much on my face but when it comes down to balancing the herbs like she said and the uh counter interactions and timings of the herbs i'll say this if you just starting off while you're trying to get a good routine every other day or every three days keep them all in equal parts like proprietary blends and you'll be good like and just do and that's another thing too you got to do your due diligence and do your research because like i was one of those people when i first started oh i'm gonna take these herbs every day and i'll be good and blah 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 no no you can have like you can develop acidosis on a, a herb that's really 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 good for you but like it's too hot for your system and if you've been taking it day after day after day after day after day, like uh, oregano, like day after day after day after day, and then all of a sudden your eyes get puffy or like you start getting inflamed in certain areas and like, well, what's going on there? Like the herb is just going to tearing stuff up and it's just doing its job. I mean, but you just, you can't, it's just her herbs don't know when to, when the clock off. I'll say that. They don't know when the clock off. You'll be in PM out and everything. They still working, you know? So it's like, if you got a herb that's high powered and stuff like that, just kind of let let Charlie get some vacation days like <laughs> make her work monday and then she don't come back till wednesday thursday you know like give her a little space but just do more so with eating with eating right than anything else um i do celery juicing what would be a good second drink choice it depends on what just what in particular you're trying to do though just just let me let me know so i give you a better answer which pdf of yours would you recommend for someone who is new to all of this my i'm a I'm not even gonna grab it. But Coach's Quick Fix, it's my book. It's an ebook. It's like 80 pages. Just go go do that. And like everything about that ebook is um like as it's teaching you and going through and stuff like that, they have the different um herbs that you click on, it takes you directly to that herb. Or whatever I'm talking about, it takes you directly to that. So I would say go do that first. Clock off. Okay, thank yeah, yeah. <laughs> Clock off. Like really, like really let that thing take a break. Cause I mean, everything in my in moderation at the end of the day optimally we want to have a better diet over a better a better uh way of medicating ourselves you know granted we turn to herbalism and stuff like that to heal naturally and no side effects stuff like that but you know even if you like prime example like my clients that have impotence and erectile dysfunction and stuff like that i don't have them taking maca and goat weed and all that type of stuff every single day it's like no every single day you should be juicing a cucumber and two green apples you be juicing your cucumber, apples, and grapes and drinking at least 32, 64 ounces of that a day. You know, until you get your stuff together. You need a fast. A fruit, a, how, how B. Simone said, you need a fruit fast. You need a break. You know, they need, I love B. Simone. But like, yeah, like just do, you know, that's, that should be the better way to do it. That's why they, wait, what? That's why they are great for birth control. What you talking about? Where can the book be purchased? Book in my bio. Like she said, link in my bio. You can click my bio, the link in my bio or go to coachbrian.com. I need to do a pin comment open. That's what I need to do. Uh, I'll go to coachbrian.com and then you'll see it. It's the first, it's literally the first link. Like when you click the link in my bio, it's going to do this little thing. It's a shake or it should go to the side. It's going to be like new book or whatever I put. I don't remember what I type. Some book and then boom, you click that and you go get it. It's like $25 because the hard copy that I got is like $175. But I paid like most, I paid $100 something, $200 something for books anyway because I love collegiate level books. I'm a nerd. That's what I do. But I knew most people ain't going to buy no 
hundred some, two hundred some dollar books. So I just turn it to ebook. Go get that thing for twenty five dollars. Give me some little gas money. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> help your boy. I granted half of that go to taxes, but help your boy. Out. <laughs> um, I already you got them laughing, but I already know what you're laughing at. <laughs> Ers because they don't clock out. What was the uh? Oh, what you said before that? You talking about birth control? That's what you was talking about. Ers because they don't clock out. I don't know. I'm trying to piece it together, and it's not the math ain't mathing for me right now. I'm trying to. I'm all in like four different places. I'm so <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. What I was about to say, what was I about? I don't even remember at this point. Y'all funny, bro. I like I like y'all. If y'all and if y'all haven't, um, oh you said so you are saying yes to, for herbs to uh for birth control. Give me just give me a thumbs up so I know for sure. I'm sorry, I'm, I know I'm demanding a lot. If you're asking me for herbs, that's like another form of I don't know why I even said that because they might flag me contraceptives or stuff like that. Give me a thumbs up so I can help y'all with that. But um, what I was about to say yeah for all the people that's up in here that don't know who I am, or like this y'all first time see me, hit that follow button. Because my content is pretty much just like my live. I'll go to my YouTube and hit that subscribe button because everything y'all see me do on the live is basically what I try to translate. And that's another thing, too. It's like, yeah, I post mostly like holistic stuff. But like today, I felt like posting my dogs. I felt like posting my little linebackers. So guess what? Y'all got some footage of me and my little linebackers outside cutting up, acting a plum fool. It is what it is. But it's to, it's, what you see is what you get with me, y'all. What do you recommend for IBS? Well, you must have just got on here. We just finished talking about that. Um, there, okay, I'm a. Mm, okay, so one here's the here's the first thing you could try: glutamine, uh, lime or lemon juice, chlorophyll. Take that in like an eight ounce shot. So you would get you like one scoop of glutamine. Uh, just have a little scoop in the thing. One little scoop of glutamine. Um, about one or two lime squeezes of lime juice. A little tincture squeeze of some chlorophyll, add some water if need be, stir it up, and then take you a quick little shot. That'll help. Number two is um, aloe vera, raw aloe vera, two inches. Cut it, eat it, or put it in a smoothie, eat it up. The third thing would be a lot of, like, just go on, like, a fruit juice fast, like fruit, um, cold-pressed fruits, like, no pasteurized, no concentrate, none of that gunk, like, cold-pressed, and then, boom, like, that would be the best way to do it um hibiscus prim primrose cohosh neem okay here's the thing here's the thing here's the thing that's that's remember we just talked about about like hot herbs and stuff like that take your time baby take your time like really take your time and like herbs that hot like especially that cohosh and neem like and prim well cohosh and primrose honestly like take your time because you might go into a reactive state if you're taking that day after day after day after day so like monday wednesday friday tuesday thursday pick Pick one that's yeah, you know. Is that for IBS with diarrhea? That's what I, wait, what? Is that for IBS with diarrhea question mark? That's what I mean. Well, if you haven't diarrhea, you you lacking fiber player. So what you need to do is start eating fruits that's high in fiber to where it can it can re because I a lot of people say go get um what's that thing called? Uh oh, what's it called? Psyllium husk or uh even though it does help, I just I'm not a fan of that. Psyllium husk. And uh, I forgot what the other thing is. And, like, it kind of coagulates and helps with stool. But you just got to up the fiber. Anytime you got diarrhea, something isn't processing properly. So you need to target the fiber and you need to target the uh, the liver as well. What is hibiscus good for? I have a ton of it. She was talking about uh, how not to be, how not to conceive, ways to prevent that. But hibiscus is also good for... um. For your mood is really good with um it's good with melatonin production it's really good with cardiovascular health it's really good for lymphatic passages uh and lymph node uh passaging it's good for uh digestive health it's i mean it's overall a really good herb and it's something you could drink pretty much every day if you want to do it in the tea but and you can actually eat hibiscus too like the flower you can just yeah you can just eat it up and you and you'll be good but um that's i should have screen that's what i should i should have screen recorded like this i just figured it out my bad, y'all was thinking about uh see I like I like the way TikTok down like you can go back and download the live and put it on YouTube, but like this they don't be having like the comment section like all of this. So like but I'm screen mirroring on my TV so I can see what y'all saying because the phone is too far away. So I can see what y'all saying and I, I should have put quick time on and I should have screen recorded this to where I could have that audio. <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, that's pretty much what a hibiscus is like a super flower. It, it, it that's dope. It's pretty dope. Let's see. Y'all, we talked about pretty much everything. Now we just doing we just doing Q and A's and conversations at this point. <laughs> at this point, bro, y'all be I love I love when I have crowds like this because like we just be talking, you know. And shout out to everybody that um that's doing all the likes and getting me in the 
and get me back in the in the algorithm. Yesterday, I forgot who it was. And I'm, I, and my bad if you're up in here and I don't remember your name because we had a bunch of people in the live yesterday. But one girl was like, let's get them to 10,000 likes. And I was like, huh? And literally in five seconds, like everybody was tapping their behinds off. And I and like I was ending. I was like, yeah, I'm about to end and blah, 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 blah. And then the numbers just jumped to like almost 60, 70 something people up in here. I was like, well, God dang, thank y'all for obligate still to stay a little five more minutes, you know? What do you recommend for block fallopian tubes? Fast, 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 fast. Um, a lot of celery juice. Uh, I'm talking about a plethora of celery juice, a lot of milk thistle, um, a lot of dandelion root, like we said before. There's another herb I can't think of at the moment. There's another herb I can't think of. Uh, a lot of blueberries for sure. I would say ditch meats for a little while. You just need to fast. If your fallopian tubes are blocked, that means you got some androgen-based disbalances going on right now. So you need to start talking, targeting your hormones. So nine times out of ten, oh, shoot, you can start even taking, like, red macaroon, too. That should help. And, like, just really give your body a chance to flush. You need to flush. We call it Sorel. But, yeah, I don't know what Sorel is. What's, what's that? What you, refer, what you referring to? I just placed an order. Will it come through by email? Yeah, if you, went, if you got the book. Um, you should like you should get a confirmation order, and then Pulley should, is the website that I uh, was the company that I do my digital dis, uh, distribution through. They should get you an email. But if you don't get it by the time I get off this thing, oh, Sorella's hibiscus did not know that. Where you from? That's that's different. Where you from to be saying that? Um, but if you don't if you don't get the email, just let me know. Email me. Like I prefer you to email me to coach at coachbrian.com. I mean uh, at coach, coachbrian at yahoo.com. And let me know to where I can see. Because that's the one I check every single day because I know the orders are coming through there. And um, I can actually, like, directly help you out. With it. I mean, you can give me your order confirmation number, and then I'll give you the digital directly, you know. Are oh, you from Jamaica. My One of my friends just came back from Jamaica from vacation. I've never been. And I, I would love to go. I know for sure I would have fun out there. He was telling me about the uh, the farms. You know, I don't know if I can say that word, but the farms. Um, he was telling me about the food. The res- I forgot what resort there was at. They did like this um, safari, and they did um, they had like this little this band. Like it was, it was the way he was describing. It, it was like a movie, and I know what I've seen as far as like videos and pictures and stuff like that. So I know I would definitely want to go out there. I haven't been out the country yet. I need to. I really need to go. Like I, I'm getting passports and everything. I need to go. But so much has been going on to where it's like I'd be worried. I was like, if I travel, will I come back? I don't have no problem. I don't have no problem relocating. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't let me get uh, stuck, not stuck, but can't come back. And I'm in Ghana. I'm in like somewhere where all my black people at. Look, I'm look, I'm, I may not come back. It is, it, y'all gonna see TikToks from Jamaica. I'm gonna find black faith. I'm gonna be out there with her. You know, we gonna we gonna make it do what it do. But you know, I haven't been out yet, and I, and I need to go. What do you recommend for BV? He's talking about bacterial vaginosis. Vaginosis. Thumbs up if that's what you're talking about. Um, just take your family. I will, I will. But that ain't cheap. And I'm a frugal person. Yeah, like I, I don't want y'all think I got money like that. I don't. I'm an average Joe. I don't have that money yet. Like when I get there, I'll be trying to tell people, don't let these numbers fool y'all. They got people with millions of followers that's broke, you know. And I'm not saying I am, but it's like you know, I, TikTok ain't really been paying off like that. You know what I'm saying? I've been having to really do my holistic stuff with my consultations and like my personal training and stuff like that. So look, look, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, we gonna we gonna go though. We definitely gonna go. That's that's definitely in the books. It's coming. I have it on my. I literally have it on my on my vision board right here. Oh, I get to show y'all. So, for all y'all, we're going we're gonna to talk about vision boards in a second. I mean, I'm going to get to these questions, then we're going to talk about this. Um, anything for hyperpigmentation? Ooh, you know what? I'm about to plug my friend. Her name is Becoming Blessing B. One more time. Becoming Blessing B. Go to her page. She got actual physical products. And, excuse me, she got actual physical products. And, like, it will blow your mind. It will blow your mind. But, um, Becoming Blessing B. One more time. Becoming blessing be go check her stuff out. One of my great friends. I ain't gonna say what she I don't know if she has a state what she lives at on her social media, so I'm not gonna put it out there. But that's one of my best friends. Like she is dope. Like we we have herbal talks, all that every like she know her stuff. She know her stuff. But for all the people that was here like maybe an episode or two ago when we was talking about like vision boards and manifestation and stuff like that. I want to, I've been wanting to show y'all and like and like I was telling y'all before, it's like, yeah, I do want like I have monetary like goals you know make x amount of dollars for a living just put this in the investment fund for my family and blah 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 and that's the green stuff but everything else is like things that that qualifies you for those monetary uh well you didn't give me yeah give me a thumb you said you didn't talk about the bv yeah give me a, give me a thumbs up i don't know if that's what you're talking about if you're talking about bacterial vaginosis give me a thumbs up so i can know that's what you're talking about i don't want to just answer a question and that's not what you're talking about but um but I'm, I'm gonna get to your question though once you give me a thumbs up if that's what you're talking about but i'm gonna say this in the meantime 
But um, in order to qualify for these things, you know, you have to like be, you have to just be ready for those type of things. You're not going to get a blessing that you're not ready for. So a lot of these things have to do with me as a person, like like the type of person that I'm trying to become, the goals that I have, you know, it's like the mindset that I'm trying to get, the physique that I'm trying to get, the health level, the, the vitality that I'm trying to get. And then, yeah, all this, like, I'm more so about, like, fixing me type of person, you know? And then I worry about the monetary stuff later. But y'all should write down, y'all should do a, a, a vision board. If y'all write down a vision board and y'all be very specific about it and, like, actually put your intentions behind it, it has no choice but to happen. You didn't manifest it simply by writing it down. And, like, actually write it down, you know? But I was supposed to show that to y'all, like, I think, like, two, three years ago. Literally just place an order with her. Yeah, she the best, man. Like, like B is, B is, when it comes down to, like, women's health and, like, products, as far as, like, uh, cosmetically, like, and even internally, like, B is the bomb. Like, she, I'm so glad I made, I made friends with that girl. Like, she just, she gets it. Uh, thumbs up. So, for bacterial vaginosis, typically what's happening is you have an, an like, a cr not a crazy imbalance, but that's something that doesn't really necessarily go. And you or somebody else, too, if you have that, you need to go check out B-Page because she got, she got products for it. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to sit here and give you, like, the holistic side and, like, the herbs and the foods and stuff like that. But if you want, like, a product, that girl's the girl to go to. But um, I for sure, I start off with chlorophyll. So I would say start your day off with chlorophyll and start switching, switch to distilled water for a while just so you can start pulling the excess minerals and micro metals that you don't need in there that's blocking up your filtration system and messing up the endometrium lining that's causing that. You need to get on some heavy chlorophyll, get on that, drink some celery juice, 16 to 32 ounces a day. That's 32 ounces maybe a lot if you're, not, if you're somebody like me that hates celery juice. But um, 16 to 32 ounces a day, definitely a whole bunch of fruits and pull back from the meats and let that thing breathe. You know, because like oftentimes whenever we're going through that, there's something within our stomach that isn't being digested right, or it's clogged up, or our kidneys are having a hard time filtrating it out. So it's going, it has, it's trying to come out. It's trying to find some type of way to get out. So also watch what medications that you're on. Watch uh, what type, of, and especially things like with yeast, like a lot, a lot of bready things. Like if you're a bread consumer, or if you like the bready type of stuff, get off it for a little while until it clears up. Because those starches, the constituents of all those things, they don't necessarily break down the same way. Like you have monosaccharides, poly and disaccharides. Monosaccharides is what you should be focusing on. Those are the simple sugars. Those are the fructoses. Those are the, uh, those are the, the sugars that come from like fruits and natural sources, the way it can be broken down. But you got the poly and disaccharides. Your body don't really know what to do with that. So you're shocking the system. It can't digest properly. You're being constipated in some way, shape, or form. You got endometrium lining is all out of whack. You know, so it's like you got to make sure that you're taking the proper steps to uh, to degunkify yourself as well. And, and I even have a seven to ten day detox. It's not a physical product, but it's a PDF that guides you through one of the most, it's not intense, but like one of the most thorough types of cleansings that you can do. You know, so like I advise you get the seven or ten day as well, and that'll help flush you out and help you deal with that problem. But typically, BV starts with like the mouth. It starts with the mouth, and it starts with like which, what's even around that area. You know, some people have more sensitive reproductive organs than others, so you got to make sure that you're watching that. Is boric acid good to take? No, no. I am. I don't like boric, and I don't like uh, apple cider vinegar. I am. I'm just. That's a thumbs down for me. That's just not my thing. I don't like. Limes and lemons are things that's acidic, but once you consume them, they break down in an alkalinity or alkaline type of manner. But when it comes down to boric acid and apple cider vinegar and stuff like that, it just it's like it's like battery acid. You know, it's just horrible. I don't mm -mm, I don't like stuff like that. K bro ninety eight said I knew it. <laughs> There's a little lag, so I don't know exactly what you talk about. We just switched like three topics back to back. I stopped. Oh, you talking about that? I stopped taking it. I used to use it a lot. Yeah, it's, it sucks, bro. It sucks. Like when it comes out to apple cider vinegar and things of that nature, like it just it just goes through your body and it tears it up. It just tears it up. And like prime example, when I'm a big fan. Of, uh, her name is Carolyn Fit or Caroline Caroline Fit, and she's been doing bodybuilding for ten plus years and looks amazing. She looks amazing. You can tell her health is where it needs to be at. She looks vital. Like she has a she's brimming with vitality, you know. But like and she looks in shape and healthy. But she takes apple cider vinegar every single day, you know. So it's like. She's on a level to where I guess her body got intolerated or whatever. But when I, mean, I grant she takes other things to cancel it, because I, I didn't see some of her YouTube videos like her daily things that kind of that kind of nullifies it. But it's just not my thing. The long term uses of that is just not good. It's like yeah, you'll so say drop weight and stuff like that, but it's just going through and tearing up. It is tearing up the body. Man, y'all got me. Y'all got me thinking now. Uh, y'all got me really thinking about like people in their everyday lives and like the stuff that they're they're eating and consuming and like what they're they're tolerating because it's just 
like the stuff we do in America on a day to day basis, we just eat and not realize what's actually happening to our bodies. It's crazy, bro. It'd be blowing my mind. Ooh, y'all, I need a line. I need a line. Heck, y'all, look at this. Look at this foolishness. I need a retwist. Like, my dreads are like, that's why I put them back here. I put that hat on. And, like, I ain't even, I ain't even brush my stuff for nothing. Y'all, I'm out here looking raggedy. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna let Coach be out here looking raggedy like that? Y'all ain't gonna, y'all ain't gonna tell me, Coach, you gotta do better, Coach. You gotta do better. Y'all ain't saying that. Y'all just, y'all just say, come on live and talk. That's what, that's what y'all want. You know what? And, and that's fine. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna find some people who really love my butt so hurt. This ain't the, this ain't the best full time, y'all. <laughs> um, let's see. We start at three fifteen. We got roughly like twenty more minutes. All right. So, any other questions that y'all have, y'all can start asking. Y'all can start asking them now, or like if y'all wanna, um, even if y'all wanna switch the topic, it don't have to be nothing holistic. Um, because it's the part to where I'll pretty much be wrapping it up. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. It's one of them days. That's why I'm about to wrap it up. I'm probably gonna eat again. <laughs> we just talked about appetite. Even my neck beard is out of control. Jesus Christ. But um. I'm probably about to go eat again. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Cause I had I did arms today with my client. I went work out with her. And um I don't even think I ate breakfast this morning. I was I woke up so early and I was just out of it. I was just rolling, rolling, rolling today. But I'm seeing everything starting to slow down. Alright, y'all. So like and everything I always say, leave with love, leave with lights. Um I don't know if I'm gonna be posting this episode on YouTube. Not yet. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this episode. It feels a little slow. It doesn't it doesn't fit the vibe that's been going on. You know, lately. Oh, I see. I'm gonna get to your question, but I'm about to say something else. But I do have a um an episode with my friends, uh, Brooke and, and Contrell. And Brooke is a therapist. This is one of my greatest, one of my good friends. She's a therapist, and like she's, we started talking about so many things that just need to be talked about. And I would love for y'all to go watch that. I'm gonna try to like compress it into an audio file, like literally after I get off of here with y'all and try to upload it. I need to get a picture of Brooke too. Now I think about it. But um, I'm gonna do that and, and see and see what I could do with that. Uh, what brand of celery juice would you recommend? I don't have a juicy yet. I don't know. I'm going to just be real with you. I don't know. Like, just make sure you can find one that says cold press 100% and that's it. And non-pasteurized. Because, like, I don't, I have, I already don't like celery juice. But I have a juicer. And I've, I've been having a juicer. So, it's like, I don't really keep up with the brands that do cold press and stuff like that. Because I just go get the fruit and do it myself. So, I honestly don't know. But if you're, if you're looking for a way to, um to find if you're looking for a way to uh to what am i trying to say oh yeah if you're looking for a way to identify how the quality of the juice and stuff like that so you just need to make sure like when you like i always tell people the front is for entertainment the back is for education turn that thing around and like if the only ingredient there should be celery juice or celery it shouldn't say pasteurized it shouldn't say from concentrate it shouldn't say blend of blah 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 and that no none of that just make sure it's cold pressed but once again y'all i'm about to head out um it was been, it was real nice i really i really like talking with y'all I, re- I really do like it keeps me on my toes it, i'm able to actually talk with people that want to learn you know and it's just it's doing wonders for me like, i know i'm on here helping y'all and giving you advice but like i love that there's still a desire for people to tips on diet diet changes to keep yeast infections away so people that have yeast infections a lot like i said before it typically deals with people who have your digestive system isn't really the best so everything I said about the irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, you should eat. Because I think you were up here when we started talking about that. Do all of those things. But also make sure that you're drinking predominantly fruit juice. And you need to fast. You know, like you need to make sure that you're fasting and you're giving your body a chance to, to like rest. If you're going to eat breads, make it be gluten-free. Make sure it's more spell-based, kamut-based. You know, not really all all white sugars and white bread. It's just horrible for the body. And it, does, it coagulates and it sticks and it glues together. It's just horrible. You'll be surprised. Like, well, I'm saying surprised, but like all diseases honestly start in the gut. If your gut gets jacked up, everything else is off. We have a vagus nerve system for a reason. We have a parasympathetic system for a reason. You know, so like you got to make sure that you're satiating yourself on the things that's going to clean you out as well as give you nutrients. I missed it, but I was considering fast, and I'll take this as confirmation and go for it. Yeah, do like a um, do a wet fast, or don't do a dry fast. Do cold press juices or do mono fasting. Only eat one thing. I did like a 10 day grape fast, and the last two days I didn't, I honestly didn't eat anything because my body was at the point where I was just like, I just want to finish purging and be done with it. You know, so that was that. was that. But I don't, I don't, I don't really be like going too crazy with my fast unless I really need to. But I don't, I haven't been sick in so, I haven't been crazy sick in so long to where it's like, I'll, I'll fast if I really feel the need to, like crazy fast if I feel the need to. But in most cases, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel the need to. 
But uh, unless another question comes through, that's been my time, y'all. That's been my time. Tomorrow is Thursday, and I leave for my. Do you feel better? A lot of after I definitely do. I definitely do. Like I, I like my. Oh, thank you. If you, you must know, you must know. For all the people that know, y'all know. Appreciate it, bro. Um, my favorite character is Itachi. That's well from this clan. That's my that's my favorite character. But um. Yes, I do feel better in, in, in light of afterwards. I still work out when I fast, too. I'm one of those type of people to where I, if even if I'm fast, I may not be as lifting as heavy or running as hard, but I'm still going to move. Motion is lotion. You got to move around. You got to stretch. You got to do something. You got to have some type of resistance in your life. Um, I fast unintentionally. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean you fast unintentionally? Diet for sickle cell patients. So when it comes out of sickle cells, so like your 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 blood cells are having a heart like okay so naturally all of our blood cells sickle right so when it comes down to, well when we when we exercise i should say that when we're in a state of like exercising our adrenaline and stuff like that it just helps things fly you know so like the people that have sickle cell and stuff like that their cells are having a hard time coming back to its natural shape you know like you remember the donut shape that they show y'all in the biology books and stuff like that so anytime it doesn't it, like it gets stuck or it doesn't come back to where it was that's what they consider the sickled state so you need to be doing a lot of leafy greens a lot of leafy green or fruit or not fruit juice cold pressed juices and a lot of celery juice like greens and the the um the fruits juice that you're gonna fruits and the fruit juice that you're gonna be eating should be melons to stay hydrated that especially watermelons that help with um nitric oxide and things of that nature to help you out because sickle cell is something to where it's like your blood is just defiant and like sarsaparilla is a really good um as a blood cleanser too capero is a good blood cleanser milk this or dandelion root i'm always call those because those are the generics um but they're they do good on a base level um but yeah i mean that's really honestly the best way to go and like flush out from the meats for a little while for a little, if you're a meat eater just do it for a little while and then like let your blood resettle and like do its job um, I miss whatever. I saw three comments just fly by. My bad, y'all. I didn't even see it. You are very smart. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I just read a lot. Um, intermittently fast and just don't have as much desire to eat. It'd be, it be like that. I have days where, like, I mean, I, there's days where I just didn't eat. And, li and listen to your body. Your body's like, anytime you start getting into those states and you don't feel like a need to satiate yourself, then you're, you probably are in a place of like, oh, well, I, my body's trying to purge something out or clean something out. Let it. That's what it's trying. It's trying to do that. Just let it. Like so. Like if you're not hungry, don't eat. You good. Just stay hydrated. Motion is lotion. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I've been saying that for saying that for a little while. Cause like I'm I'm real big on. Oh, I gotta stretch. I'm real big on moving. You know, like not. You don't necessarily have to have to like bench press and squat. And even though that's it's very beneficial, very very beneficial, especially with osteoporosis as you get older. I have a client that's in her sixties and like. <laughs> She is good. She's real because I make her live. She is good. But, like, if you just move around, you walk on a day-to-day -day basis, you stretch on a day-to-day -day basis, you foam roll on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, like, that's motion is lotion. You can't, like, believe it or not, they tell you that fish oil and stuff like that is, like, oh, it lubricates the joints and blah, 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 blah. If you just stretch and do mobility and walk and actually use your joints on a day-to-day -day basis and actually bend, like, it, there's a, there's a, I forgot what the actual, um, liquid is that secretes around the meniscus and the acl but like in your vertical no yeah your vertical uh, meniscus as well like is it lateral i think it's the it's lateral i forgot which one it was but like when you move it naturally lubricates itself you know so like you should be eating things or like at least moving around and eating things that's going to help you out so don't just be Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to be on that phone like this all day. It's easy to be in front of a computer. And everybody got like everybody got remote jobs now. So it's easy to just be, nah, 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 you know what I'm saying? Like just in your own little world all day. But you got to just like, you got to move, bro. Would you recommend rest day as well? For sure. Yeah, I, I like, now granted, when I, when, like, when I say work out every day, especially me, like I'm a move. I'm a run. I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a walk. I'm a, all that type of stuff. But I don't lift every day. Like, at least two days out of the week, I don't lift because you need a break. I'll be wanting to, like, lift. I mean, I might do some push-ups, some squats, and stuff like that, but I don't put a lot of weight on my body, like, every day. Like, I don't – we need – rest is just – rest is as important, if not even more important, than actually lifting weights, you know, because you just need to let your body have a chance to heal. You do a lot of sleep in your – um. I mean, you do a lot of uh, recovery in your sleep. Uh 
Y'all, y'all like to see y'all like to y'all do that. I'll be about to get off this dog on thing because it be getting slow and y'all don't be saying y'all don't be asking no questions, y'all don't be doing nothing. But the moment I say I'm about to get off here, all them questions start coming on. Y'all funny. Y'all some funny people. Y'all some funny people. And then they get to the point where like, well, now then I gotta go because we didn't spend three hours on this thing. Y'all funny. But for all the new people, I'm seeing some new people. Um, go to my YouTube. Go 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 to my YouTube and subscribe because all these podcasts and stuff be on there. Granted, it ain't gonna look like this. This new setup. I still gotta figure. I think I'm gonna remove the camera though. I don't like it being right there. It's not natural. I have to turn to look at y'all. I'm probably gonna put it like right here to where y'all can still kind of get this work, like get this little view, this angle, but I can still see the screen and like still see the comments. Um, do you use Tangata Lee? Um, not a no. It's it's a really really hot herb, so I don't. I I tried it, and I put my dad on it. Uh, I want him to try it too because he was talking about stuff like that. But I don't use it a lot. I, there's this new herb that I'm doing research on right now that I just found out about. Let me tell you something. I traced them studies back. I read every article on that thing from, not, I think it was like the 60s, I want to say, up until now. And I, I went back and compared notes from studies back then to now. And the benefits have been immaculate. Like, with no bad side effects, with no... Like it, it's it's crazy, bro. It, it's crazy, but I, I ain't gonna say the herb yet because I gotta. I want to do my own. I don't. Wanna, I don't like talking about stuff that I can't teach on. You know, so it's like I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all later. Are you from Dallas? No, I love Texas though. I'm right by. I'm right by Dallas. I'm in Louisiana. I'm like southern. I'm like at the bottom of Louisiana, but I love me some Texas though. Like Houston, Austin. I love Austin. Houston and Austin is almost equal to me in love, but like I love Austin more because I made more money out there when I went traveling and do my shows, and um. It's just a, it's just more, it's, it's mixed. It's like, well, it's not as mixed as Houston, but like, I don't know. It's just a, I like the vibe out there, and they pay you well. Um, is your, you, what is your YouTube name? Coach, same thing. Coach Brian, get you fine. It should be right there. Coach Brian, can you see the herbs so I can do my own research? <laughs> Let me, it's, see, it's on my phone too, and my, I'm using my phone. I'm trying to remember. You just moved to La, to, to Louisiana. You said you're from Jamaica. Well, you, you see, you're from Jamaica. That means you came from Jamaica. Come on, Brian, think about it. Uh, what's the name of that dog on herb? Hold up, let me. Ah. Give me a second, y'all. I can pull it up real quick. Oh no, I can't because it's mirroring on the computer. Ah. I can't. It's mirroring on my thing, so I can see this screen and my the other. Com- yeah. What's the? Hold up, let me try to remember it. What's the name of this dog on herb? I, I literally just copied it from there and pasted it when I ordered it, because it's it's a really long name. Cuffle something, cuffle stuff. I forgot. It's like a, it's a green. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Tom, I know tomorrow for sure. I should be able to like really teach on it, because I'm almost done reading a few more articles on it. I know tomorrow for sure. If y'all come on here, three fifteen Central Standard Time is the time I'll be on here. Um, y'all, I'll talk about it tomorrow for sure. But I can't think about it right now. It's a really long. Like the when I typed it, well, when I copied and pasted it, like the the name was like that long. It's a really long name. But it's, I'll put it to you this way. They, they. Here's what I do know about it. Before I really dive into it tomorrow, here's what I do know about it. So, it decreases. Can you do a video on it? I, I will. I will. But that video isn't gonna come until like I'll talk to y'all live about it as far as like what I'm doing right now because most people ain't going like all of the hundred and like I got like almost 170 thousand followers. I have never had a hundred thousand people in this live at one time, so I know not everybody going. You know what I'm saying? So like I talk to y'all about that because y'all y'all gonna be on that on that journey with me. But like as far as posting it to my followers, not yet. Cause like I, I got to be able to like really break that joint down like I want to, and plus I like to do it on myself first when it comes out to herbs like that. But um, the studies that I did do on it so far, they used it on people, but they did it on animals first. Um, on on la- albi- albino rats at first, the the what it was the mount the dismount time decrease. Um, I, but I put all these lives on YouTube. Don't worry if you can't get on, it should be uploaded by like Sunday because I'm going I'm going to Kendrick Lamar concert Friday. And I'm turning that to a trip. I ain't coming back home till Monday, so yeah. But um, it's gonna be up. I'm upload this. I was debating on whether I was gonna upload because it's kind of slow. But I'm I'm still upload this one. So just look for this. No other video is gonna have this setting anyway. But um, what I was about to say. Oh yeah. So the amount of time decrease. The um the refractionary period decrease. The longevity increase. The stamina increase. The sperm the sperm count doubled in like sixty days. It doubled. Like a healthy albino rat, it doubled. Like it's this herb is so put and like if it's they ain't got to tell me it's a hot herb. I already know that's not something I'm gonna be taking every day. I already have a crazy high drive and I'm already very you know I'm very vital for a 27 year old. So 
I'm not about to be here just nah, I'm not <laughs> I'm not about to be here taking that herb every day, but I do want to see what it's hitting on. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I do want to see what it's hitting on. And you couple that I'm not saying you couple that with like, you know, edging and like making sure you're doing kegels and you're strengthening yourself and like doing your retention uh training and stuff like that. Bro, you'll be out here on a whole nother level. A whole nother level, I promise you. Mm, she said A hey, Kendrick, yeah, that's my I, I'm ready to see what this concert is gonna be because he went he out here ran the crown of thorns. I know it's artistic and he's a he on that Hebrew Israelite no yeah Hebrew Israelite what is it yeah Hebrew Israelitism he's on that but I don't know I got I gotta see I don't know that man personally so I, I don't judge people but I'm interested to see what his message our main message is going to be for the concert. This is my first Kendrick concert ever. You know I I wanted like my my biggest show I wanted to go see was uh, Thundercat because I'm a big Thundercat fan but. The show that I was gonna see in Baton Rouge got canceled, and uh, yeah, it was it was canceled. So that was a trip I I took for nothing. But and he canceled like the day I think it was like the day of or the day before. I was already out of town. I was already way over there, like hours away from my house. If you don't use Tongue of the League, what do you use? Um, let us know how it goes, please. For sure, for sure. Um, hey, some more Thundercat fans. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I can go grab. Let me go grab them. Five like that, <laughs> because people, you know. People like that. Now, my other herbs, I ran out, so I can't show y'all the... I do take maca from time to time. Uh, what was the other herb I was using? I forgot the other one I was using, but this is a proprietary blend of cayenne and butcher's broom. This is one that I use. Damiana. That's another one. Uh, vitamin D3, of course. And essential aminos. So, a lot... I don't... I mean, that's the thing. I don't even like... I've been having these, and, like, they're full. Like, I don't really use them a lot. You know, it's like... I. Like even this, like the one I probably use the most, it's probably this. It's probably this one, but like I haven't used this in a while. I've used more of this than this, but this is the one I would actually like use if I really was have to use it on like a day to day basis. But like, I don't really take the merge like that. It's like I take them like once a week, once a month, maybe depending on like if my body starts to feel off, I run the herbs. But like I don't take herbs every day. I just don't. I. I don't need them, you know, like, like I, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, like, once y'all get to a certain level of, like, nutrition and eating, you just, you're not going to need them. Uh, the first two, I don't know what, what order I showed them to y'all, but I'm going to just show them to, I'm going to just do this again. So, essential amino acids, oh, and all of these are in my uh, Amazon favorites, too. Essential amino acids, uh, vitamin D3, it's a tincture. It tastes like orange juice. I'm saying orange juice, it, it has a, it has a citrus smell taste to it, but, like, it tastes, honestly, it tastes like nothing. Uh, Damiana. Damien is another one. And uh, Kanye and Butcher's Room Proprietary Blend. These, see, these, this is what I'm about to be dropping on y'all. Because, like, these are going to be my first physical products. So, like, I'm going to be doing my own version of these. And I'm, like, I'm going to hit y'all with the, whoo, whoo, I'm about to, hey, son. I'm, like, like you said, like, oh, it's a circulation blend, SP1, blah, blah, blah. I'm about to hit y'all with the low libido blends. I'm going to hit y'all with the IBS blends. Like, I'm, about, I'm trying to change the game. I'm trying to change the game for real, for real. And I'm really trying to help people with it yet. So, yeah, that's the ones I use. But I don't, once again, I don't I don't use herbs a lot like that. I use them when I need them or if I feel off. But it's been a while since, like, I actually was, like, every morning just popping them back. Like, it's just, it's been a while. It's been a, a I just been, if I feel off, I was like, okay, what do I need to fast from? What have I been eating? And then I might, like, make my teas first. It's like, I got, now. I wasn't about to bring them big sacks of herbs. I did not. I got like my like these are my capsules, but I have like actual raw herbs in my other cabinet, my herb cabinet. I wasn't getting that big sack of bird I can bring it up in here and have my room. Spent. No, not doing that. But like you know my bird, my burdock, my dandelion root, root my echinacea, uh, my milk thistle, all that type of stuff. Like and my elderberry. Like I run to that before I run to these. Like this is like I'm off, off. You know what I'm saying? Like the only thing I might eat my bad. The only thing I might eat not eat large. I might consume every other day or if I just need it is the vitamin D3, but. The more orange juice I drink, you know, like the more fruit juice I drink, I don't need it. So I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, fruit juice is the way to go. It's going to help y'all. But um, see what I'm saying? Y'all doing it again. I, I love it, but y'all doing it again. Because y'all know I'm about to get off this thing in here. All the new people start coming up here. All the questions start coming. Um, I swear by Golden Seal. Golden Seal is dope. Golden Seal is really good for people that have uh, uh, VHS and VHS 2. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to double check my list of viruses, but like, yeah, that's really good for y'all. It, it's a, it's another hot herb too. So, you know, 
Golden Seal Lotion is dope too. I, I saw somebody made like a Golden Seal Lotion. Do you make your own fruit juices? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm about to give me an Omega. I've been saving my money. I'm about to give me that Omega juicer. I forgot which which model it is, but I have it saved in my bookmarks on Amazon. Son, that thing juice on another. Like, when you juicing something, like the debris or the matter that comes out, other than the juice that's, that's separated, should be dry, right? Or you would assume that is dry if you're juicing something. You should be that efficient, right? Son. The one I got now is is close to that, but that Omega series that I that I saw that um what's his name Anthony William ha uh he he was promoting, and I went and look at it and I went and look at the specs and I watched him do it and like all that like even he did beets he did celery he did all types of fruits and the debris was like he would pick it up it wasn't even like it was just brittle, I'm like how much juice you getting up out that thing like I'm pretty bro bro I'm when I'm gonna say I got I got probably like two hundred more dollars to go, like oh man I'm a I'm going to get that Omega real, 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 real quick. I promise y'all. Uh, I don't have a juice, so I just eat the fruit and vegetable. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's same. Well, it's not the same thing, but I mean, it's do that. I would rather you do that than not do anything. Um, How do you feel about consuming alcohol? <laughs> no. Alcohol dehydrates on a cellular level. Like, when you get drunk, that's another form of cellular dehydration. It's not... Simply because, oh, I consumed a lot of alcohol. No, you are dehydrated. And your body is loopy because it's pulling from everything, even your bone marrow, to try to stay alive. You know, so I don't I do not do I don't do that. And plus spirits. I don't I don't do that. I don't play with that. Um, cause I believe in physical and spiritual. That's just me. Mm, that's sick. I know, right? What's your juice routine day to day then? I don't have specific juices I drink every day. It's, I go off of what I'm craving, because I, I live by a farmer's market. Three farmers markets actually. So it's like if I want, like today, I want to get uh, cucumbers, and I got cucumbers, asparagus, green apples. Uh, what else we had got? I think that's it. I think the because I was just in the green mood. But the other day I went and get apples and oranges. Then the day before that I got grapes. Like I just whatever I'm feeling, I just juice it that day. You know. Yes, I'd rather smoke. I tell it, bro. Look, even though I'm not, a, I'm not I don't drink all smoke, but like. I'll even tell people I'd rather you do an edible or like smoke, you know, some ganja or something before you do alcohol. It's just horrible. It's in like they, it's so engraved into our everyday living and all this other stuff. She left and I have that base in there. I just realized that that, that base is in there and I need that for rehearsal. I hope she's back in time. I need to double check. But, um, Jesus Christ, my instrument is in there. Good thing I have more, but, like, my wires and stuff is in there. Jesus Christ. But, um, that just threw me all the way off. But, um, yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't have a specific routine, and, like, I don't drink all smoke, so. I, that's just me. That's just why I'm at with it. But, it, let me, y'all, that's my, I wouldn't notice that for no reason. I need to get off of this thing, because I got rehearsal. And the last thing I want to do is have a rehearsal at my house, and then, you know. It really is. I have to detach from it. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard. But look, y'all. I know. I know it's getting good. My bad. I gotta go, y'all. I got I really gotta make sure she didn't get too far because she's about to go. With um, you said play on live. I'll play tomorrow. I don't have no. I'll do that. I even show y'all my music. I'll play tomorrow. That's no problem. Um, but yeah, I don't. She got. She's going to my little nephew's birthday party. I have a rehearsal. I'll go there later. But I gotta make sure she didn't leave. 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 Yeah. I hope she's down the street by her mama. But uh, I'm gonna hit y'all. I'm hit y'all. I gotta go. <laughs> Peace and love. I pray blessings over y'all. Have favor. Have grace. Have mercy. Y'all, uh, make sure y'all have a great day. Make sure y'all go to my page, follow, go on um my YouTube and subscribe. Go get y'all something from CoachBrian.com. Hit the follow button. Spread my name. All that type of stuff. God bless. Y'all be good, man. Praise God.